In this video, we're going to talk about the auto guying tool. Now, what auto guying lets you do is simultaneously add a guy and an anchor and set its attachment height uh, along the pole and its so its you know guy bolt position and its anchor position, its anchor lead length all at once. So the first thing I need to do is tell the system um, when I perform my guying operations, what is the guy anchor pair that I want to use. So I go into my catalog view here and I um, what I do is I find, and here I have one, I find a case where I have a single guy on a single anchor in my user catalog or in my master catalog. Just right click on it and say I want to set this as the default auto guy assembly. All right. Now once that's been done, and I can change that for different regions or different areas, different soil conditions, so on and so forth, I go to the pole that I want to perform the guying operation on in the 3D view. And what I do is I right click it on the point where I want to put the guy bolt. And I say perform auto guy. What it does, uh, the first thing it does is, is it gives me the opportunity to change, for example, what my lead length might be, but I'm satisfied with the default one. What it's going to do is it's going to say, okay, given the MCU solution, what is the angle at which the structure is currently deflected? And so what from that calculates what the proper remediation angle is and goes in and puts in an anchor and a guy. And you see what it did was it put in an anchor at the correct angle and it put in a guy at the height that I indicated. If you look at it, you see, okay, well, I mean, that's all nice. But if I look at the belly that currently still exists in this pole, it needs additional guys or extra guying at the secondary and service level and down at the comm level. And I can do that just as easily by going in and saying, all right, with the anchor selected, I want to add an extra guy there, and I want to add an extra guy there. And it uses the same assembly information to go ahead and go down to the same anchor that I currently had selected. And now when it gets done calculating, you see, well, now we have a situation where the pole is very nicely guyed. It doesn't have the belly in it, in it anymore. All the guys are well within their capacity, and I have a pretty reasonable starting point for a guying solution for this pole. And I can go ahead and change their types to sidewalk or whatever I might want to do, but as a starting point, the auto guy has at least guided the pole in a way that solves my um, moment problems. So that's auto guying. It's pretty useful, and it's a very quick way to get guys onto the pole um, quickly as starting points.